Hi guys, welcome back to another Minecraft video, and today we are playing Hypixel Skyblock. This is uh, episode 6, so this is essentially part 2 to mining, um, and today we'll be going through Lapis, uh, the Lapis Mines Down, Lapis Quarry is actually, I think, no, I don't know, either way, Lapis Down, and I um, have been mining redstone and lapis off camera, and, um, well, I've been mining, um, Redstone off camera, sorry, I already did the lapis in the last episode, sorry. This is like, you know, a long time since I made the last episode, so I'm really out of the loop. It's been really hard to make videos, you guys, but anyway, this is a voiceover right now, so. Um, this was actually recorded a long time ago. But anyway, that's a redstone minion. Uh, and now, I'm gonna try to find the slime hill. <laughs> uh, this is, let's just, uh, go to a time lapse. Once I find the slime hill, I will... Do I will mine emeralds because emeralds spawn in the slime hill, and once I get enough for an emerald minion, then I will craft it. I will, uh, and then I will move on, and I'll show you the way to the diamond reserve, which is after that. Cut to the timers. Let's go. Guys, this is our last emerald, and now we have enough for an emerald minion. And um, uh, it's it's always the same amount, except for like the redstone and lapis, because there's more abundance of them. I think you need like two stacks to uh, uh, for of each to make the that uh, that those minions. But anyway, I could probably just look back. Or maybe it's a stack. Uh, no, no, it wouldn't be. I don't know. Either way. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna show you guys to get to the diamond reserve from here and get consistently knocked back by this giant boss slime that you can only kill um when you're oh, <laughs> when you're good when you're like bad and right now i'm worse than bad, but only because my armor set because uh, trust me lapis armor sucks in this area because like look at him <laughs> he's huge anyway and he does a lot of damage too. But so the left operator is right behind me. And from there, well, you can probably see where I'm going. But honestly, I don't quite remember how to get there. <laughs> um, so, yep, killed. <laughs> Yippoo. Well, I guess I'll just cut to a time lapse. Anyway, once I reach a time in reserve, I'll, I'll stop the time lapse. And I'll just, um, I don't know. Uh, I'll, we'll take it from there, I guess. Yay, I successfully found the the uh, cavern leading to uh, the diamond reserve um, and so um, well um, as you can see there's a mob down there covered in diamond armor that is a zombie and it is really OP guys so like um, you could mine diamonds here but they're ten they tend to be rather scarce and far and few between so the best place really to mine diamonds uh, is in between here and the obsidian sanctuary and the obsidian sanctuary you can get more diamonds than here um, but in, with the added bonus of obsidian, but right now uh, the mobs are way too powerful. Like just here, they can like two shot me. See, two shot easy. Uh, and down there, they can also two shot me. So you need definitely better tier armor before you can uh, come close to fighting them. But don't worry, that'll come soon enough. Once we reach the end, we should be OP enough to kill all these mobs easy. So 
Oh, look at this combo. Let's go. I'm so good at this game. Anyway, so if you just follow my path, this is going to lead to the cavern between the Diamond Reserve and the Obsidian Sanctuary. This one's a lot easier to find than the other ones. Um, and here it is. Yeah, and you can also find a... Uh, I mean, okay, so this is the best place to mine diamonds. So uh, I'll just get to it. Okay, I'm gonna stop the time lapse for a second because I want to show you something. This is a fairy soul. We won't be doing much about these later, but if you right click on them, it'll say that you found the fairy soul. Uh, later on, you'll be able to use them to get stat boosts. I mean, you could do that now, but you need to find five of those uh, to be able to uh, get a stat boost and then give them to Tia the fairy. I don't know why she. Uh, anyway, we'll go into that in a future episode, but there are many scattered across the map, and there are a bunch of tutorials out there. Um, and, um, but yeah, there will be a video on that very soon. So, yep, almost there into the a stack and 16 of diamonds. Just need one more diamond. Boom! Boom, now we can craft the diamond minion. Unfortunately, I don't have the wood on me right now to claim it, but, uh, and I won't be able to do anything in the Obsidian Sanctuary, but I think I'll show you how hard the mobs hit and how hard it is to kill them before they get a hit on you, maybe? I don't know, I can't remember what he did. Um, oh, here we go. Ooh, see? Yep, completely ruined my life. Goodbye, 312 coins. Either way, um, I guess I'm gonna... Oh yeah, I think what I'm gonna... Hmm, can't remember what I'm gonna show... Oh yeah, I think I'm gonna show you um, where the Lapis Miner is. He is a weird little fellow, but he is in the, um, he's in the Lapis Quarry, if that's what it's called. I'm, yes, it is. I'm so smart. But anyway, he's all the way at the back in a little cave. Um, and this NPC, uh, will give you a special item used for using minions to upgrade them called a compactor. Basically, it'll compact, uh, items reducing a minion into blocks if it is compatible. Like, for example, if you have a, say, iron minion down, and you put a compactor in it, it'll make, it'll produce iron blocks as opposed to iron ingots. Um, so that's really useful uh, in that way. But you need to give him something to do with iron, but I can't remember, I can't remember what it is, but let's find out. He wants a new pickaxe, specifically an iron pickaxe. Oh boy. Um, yep, don't have any iron on me, so I'm gonna have to create an iron pickaxe. Be right back. Okay, thanks to the power of editing, I now have a pickaxe. I also crafted a diamond minion uh, in the split second it took for you to <laughs> get to this clip. Anyway, so here we go, give him to this pickaxe, and now here's a compactor. It'll automatically turn items into blocks. Now, of course, some items can't be turned to blocks, like for example, carrots. If you were to produce carrots in a minion, you couldn't use a compactor in it because there's no such thing as a carrot block, obviously. You could use them like a wheat minion because there are hay bales, but um, uh, if you wanted to like reduce, put carrots into their, uh, into a more compact form, you would need a super compactor, which we'll be going over in a later episode, which actually converts um, items into their enchanted form, which we'll also be going over in a later episode. And yeah, it's a lot of info to be throwing at y'all right now, but it is necessary, so anyway, now I'm going to head to my private island, I'm going to place down uh, the minions that I acquired over the mining session. So yeah, I like placing my minions on the side of the bridge that I build to the, um, uh, to the uh, island with the cobblestone minion, because that way it provides like, a sort of bridge too when they generate the blocks. So I guess we're going to go with the diamond minion first. Yep. Um, and they need to be, they, they need, remember they need five blocks of space, two blocks on one side, two blocks on the other, and so I just counted out the blocks, and there we go, this should be, um, perfect, and I guess, what minion are we going to place down? My guess is I'm going to put down a redstone minion, or I don't know, hmm, so many choices, 
Wait, where is my redstone minion? Oh, no, it is there. Okay, what am I doing? I'm literally just, like, not doing it. Okay, there we go. Redstone minion. I made a decision. There we go. And I'm going to put the compactor in it. So now I will get redstone blocks. Unfortunately, it only has one slot in it, though. So there isn't really enough redstone to turn it into blocks. So that could easily be why. Oh! Yeah, yeah, I'm putting the uh, small storage over there. I'm so smart, you know? I'm not really that smart, but either way. Um, but yeah, you can do that to enhance the size, and it'll still be able to craft blocks from the extra storage. Um, I still have room for other minions. So just so you know, if you want to place down an iron minion or a gold minion, you do need a auto smelter, uh, which, because otherwise it'll just produce the ore block, and you don't want that, and you, you want the actual iron ingot and gold ingot. So, to do that, you need an auto smelter, which I believe is just a small amount of cobblestone. But either way, I'll be getting that in a later episode. So, that's it for today, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I will be trying to continue this series. And sorry for the lack of videos recently. It's been really hard to find time to edit this. But right now, I'm in self-isolation, and so I've had more time than others. So, thanks again for your uh, support for this channel. Please subscribe and hit a like on this video if you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.